Hi Aquarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your February reading. Let's see what are, what's the energy around you in Feb and how you can use the messages in this uh, reading to have an even more beautiful month ahead. So let's begin. Of course, remember these are general collective readings, right? Take what works for you. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and a welcome in to newcomers. Okay, all right. Hmm, wonderful. Okay, all right. Uh huh. And secret message from the universe. Bottom of my deck, the hanged man. Okay, so you'll probably get some time to see things from different perspectives, I guess. I don't know, some kind of enlightenment, but everything looks good. I mean, you're already feeling currently as I'm doing the reading, either you are heading or you're wishing or maybe you already are in a quite a secure place in your life, uh, Aquarius. This is like the four of wands. But before I start clarifying these cards, uh, let's just start with a with the Ganesha Oracle card. Let's see what Lord Ganesha is going to bless you with uh, Aquarius for the month of February and then we'll start. And of course take an angel blessing card as well. Childlike expression. Yes. So this is almost like the fool card, right? It's like starting a brand new journey, enjoying life. We like look at Lord Ganesha playing with a sweetmeat. So this is childlike expression, feeling excited, um, enjoying what you're doing. Maybe you've been working really hard in the past. Let's see. No, actually first. Okay, okay. let's just take a little message as well. Aquarius, I'm suddenly all over the place. Number 12. I'm not going to read all of it, just a few lines. 30. Number 30. Okay, childlike expression. In truth, every soul exists in the aspect known as the inner child. Okay, so practice trusting your inner knowing and senses. Give your inner child love and a voice. Express your true feelings. Connect deeply to yourself. You get the gist of it. I'm not going to read the entire thing, Aquarius, because I know some of you get, uh, you know, get on with the reading. We don't want to hear the message. But I don't know. If you guys like it, in, fu in the future, I'll read the entire thing. Let me know. So, childlike expression time to nurture your inner child and what angels what do you have my angels what do you have for Aquarius for February forgiveness I think don't be too hard on yourself that's what I'm getting instead of you know we, we are always kind of trying to strive and be better and bigger and you know we somewhere don't give ourselves enough credit it's time to give yourself a pat on the back and forgive yourself Okay, spirit. Let's start with the reading then. What's the Four of Wands in Aquarius's current energy? Four of Wands. Aquarius, I think you are you are working towards. You are really not putting yourself into a position where you're letting yourself rest. It's like I'm the wounded warrior, being strong and be, be, you know, really working towards a goal, maybe some kind of a skunk. You already are there. From what I'm seeing, you, you're already there and yet I think you're, you're being a little unforgiving on yourself. I think this process started in the recent past where you were like all out to maybe learn, study, work. And even now, even though you have reached a place of quite a bit, a bit of security you're just not letting yourself you know rest uh, because everything is going to work out in in february you have the three of pentacles which is like uh, you you know if you're in a job or business everything is going to work out to your highest good so there's absolutely no need to worry i think it would be time a good time to let your inner child express itself forgive yourself i mean one is always you know kind of never feeling good enough ask the you know the most famous supermodel uh, you know who we admire and say wow what a figure what skin what eyes they'll probably tell you you know what 
my eyes are too close or my nose is too big or you know I have a love handle on my thigh or something like that it's time to well be just be kind to yourself that's the energy I'm getting from this reading so maybe you have uh, achieved a bit a lot but you're still saying hey there's still more and I want to keep it going and be very strong about it so what happened in the recent past spirit page of swords what's the page of swords in the recent past yeah you were not enjoying life you were not going out you were not celebrating life it was like i i i'm i'm saying no 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 to everything everything this is like i don't have time to you know give myself mm, maybe burning the midnight oil having sleepless nights and this is like really working yourself to the bone where you were just not resting Okay, why? Because you felt you never wanted to be in a situation where you were not financially stable. This is like I never ever want to have sleepless nights because, because of the lack of feeling grounded, feeling secure, feeling so you could have been really at it for a long time and even now, even though you have achieved quite a bit Aquarius, you are unforgiving to yourself. You don't have to worry because the three of pentacles is here for Feb, uh, Aquarius. So what's coming in uh, for Aquarius spirit in February? What's coming in? Three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Three of pentacles, okay. Three of pentacles. Oh. All right. I told you. I told you. If you've been feeling any kind of lack, that's going to be over. Just listen to your intuition. Go with your gut. I think it's a time for self-love. In Feb, this, these are all your February cards. So, a you'll have zero financial trouble. I think that feel that like mindset will go. You will be sitting in the lap of luxury. You'll be able to give yourself nice things. Mm, why? Because. Ace of Pentacles is here for you, Aquarius. You're going to be very, very, very financially stable. Just go with your gut, listen to your intuition. And yes, you have to keep working. I'm not saying give up work or anything like that. Because, and let others help you. It's like collaborate with others. Maybe you can delegate a little bit, take some time out for yourself. I don't see any any money troubles coming for you in February. So I think if you are still, you know, unforgiving or still feeling that I haven't yet achieved what I really, it's coming. I think you can take a little time out. So spirit, um, what can become Aquarius's biggest blockage, which they must avoid for the month of Aqu uh, February? Seven of Swords. What's this? Self-sabotage? What's the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords, Spirit? Magician. Yes, see, this is what I was trying to tell you. When you're manifesting, if you're manifesting from a lack mindset, I never have enough, I don't have enough, I'll never get enough, or I didn't have enough, and I'll never accomplish what I... Uh, but I want it. So this universe is uh, only listening to the I don't have. Right? The minute you start being in gratitude for what you already have and start thanking the universe for it, you start achieving. So instead of sabotaging your own manifestations, I think you need to start enjoying life a little more, uh, Aquarius. Start being in gratitude. Start enjoying whatever you've already created till now. Okay, so only that can become a blockage, nothing else. Otherwise, you're the magician. So, spirit, tell me one thing. Um, what can, what, uh, what is, what is uh, Aquarius holding on to, or what they should not hold on to? Five of Wands. This is like self inner conflict, inner conflict. Well, why is that? Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the five of wands here? 
yeah that's because you've always feel maybe in the past you've been defeated and you don't want to feel like this again there's always some kind of a you know mindset that uh, things will never pan out i've been hurt in the past yeah there that is some there is a lack of trust somewhere there is a little bitterness maybe anger from the past hurts or past you know lack mindset or something like that where you don't trust and that is i think what is what keeps you driven also keeps you from believing that things are finally all right so spirit what should aquarius let go of completely what should aquarius let go of aquarius whatever didn't happen in the past maybe things never panned out for you in the past you were unable to take action maybe there was a you know stoppage in your forward progress or something well that cycle is over what spirit is saying right now you can let that go because you're starting a brand new chapter of your life and you know what that brand new chapter brings you the queen of pentacles now the queen of pentacles has so much that they yes exactly like the king of pentacles highest level of safety security money abundance but the difference here um, aquarius the queen of pentacles also takes care of themselves they dress well they look good they eat right and they still have enough left over to help others so in the past if well you've been dealing with people maybe who were you know selfish or self centered and things when i don't know but this is the time where you have to trust that you will have enough enough not only to take care of yourself but also for others just don't sabotage this manifestation by you know remembering the lack or remembering or just being unforgiving to yourself so spirit tell me um Aquarius is loved ones the people who really love admire Aquarius in February how will they be seeing Aquarius now uh knight of pentacles very stable okay one second let me do this again uh knight of pentacles because i my hand twisted the card i don't i don't want to cheat <laughs> so okay one one more okay there is people who really know you who really really know you maybe understand what you're going through but uh, they are saying that maybe in the past you did feel you had some kind of lack or you were not getting that progress that you wanted to maybe things were not working out with work or something like that but you are coming out of that now you are coming out of that and maybe starting something very stable and brand new am i right spirit give me one more Yeah, see this is yes see this is like cutting the chains cutting the chains which kept you bound and tied to some past memories maybe these are past memories of you always feeling you know um, thing you know th there was maybe controlling people around you or there was a lack of action or there were some stoppages never feeling emotionally happy uh, well uh, people now see that yes aquarius has made that choice now to have forward movement and the starting of stable stable new journey this could be something you starting new which is going to grow leaps and bounds so spirit tell me what is your secret message for aquarius now for february 3 of cups this is celebration joy happiness um good news okay what's that spirit 3 of cups i love this 3 of cups 3 of cups Three of Cups. Yes, absolutely. If you if you are still uh, Aquarius, carrying this heavy burden and saying, "Oh, I don't see, I don't see what's in front of me. I have so much to do, so much to do." These are all your past. Um, this is your uh, mind conditioning from your past. You know what? This you can drop all these. Just keep one. 
This is a brand new chapter. It's an exciting, brand new journey. And it's going to be filled with happiness, filled with celebration, joy, achievement, success. All you have to do is put down these 10 and keep this one. This is only, only coming from your past, nothing else. Maybe past conditioning, where you were told you had to work extra hard, or you would never achieve that you know, level of success, or you were not good enough, whatever. I think it's time now to let all that go and move forward. Forgive, forgive. If people have hurt you in the past and made you feel that way, you can even forgive them. Uh, uh, including, of course, yourself, but you can also just sit down and figure out why. I mean, this will be the time, you can use this time right now, in fact, to see, you know, uh, different perspectives or see things from different people's angles, try and figure out why you feel that way, what happened, why, why, why do you feel that you have to work extra hard, why, why do you have to prove things to yourself or others. After you've done doing that, uh, Aquarius, guess what? Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands. There's only action and positive, exciting new beginnings coming for you. Take this time, take this time to reflect. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hope it helped. Let me know. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.